This video explains how to calculate multiple summary statistics for a dataset in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data set that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, which are called values and groups. And the first column contains random numeric values and the second column is a group indicator. Now let's assume that we want to calculate multiple summary statistics for this data set. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 6 to 10 of the code. So in these lines of code I'm using the do call, the data frame and the aggregate functions. And within the aggregate function I'm specifying a user defined function which tells R which summary statistics I want to calculate. So in this case, I want to calculate the mean value, the sum and the standard deviation for each of the groups in our data frame. So if you run lines six to 10 of the code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data summary one. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the summary statistics for our data frame. So as you can see, the first column is called groups and contains an indicator for each of the five groups in our data set. And then we have one column which shows the mean for each group, one column which shows the sum for each group and one column which shows the standard deviation for each group. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the functions of the basic installation of the R programming language to calculate multiple summary statistics However, it is even simpler to use the functions of the deep layer package for this task, at least in my opinion. And for this reason, I want to show you another example in which I'm using the deep layer package to calculate multiple summary statistics. And for this, we first need to install and load the deep layer package, as you can see in lines 12 and 13. I have installed this package already. And for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 13 of the code. And then in the next step, we can use the functions of the deep layer package, such as group by and summarize all. And within the summarize all function, I'm specifying a list which contains all the summary statistics that I want to calculate. So in this case, I once again want to calculate the mean, the sum and the standard deviation of our data frame groups. So if you run lines 15 to 20 of the code, you can see that another data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data summary two. And we can click on this data set to open a new window that shows this data set. And as you can see, this data set contains exactly the same summary statistics as we have already calculated in the first example. However, this time we have used the deep layer package instead of base R. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.